This is Bumper to Bumper TV. Kia, like many other automakers, is placing a big bet on the future of battery electric vehicles. So, platforms like the EV6 have an appeal to drivers who want to be environmentally conscious and on the leading edge of personal mobility. The crossover comes in both all-wheel and rear-wheel drive configurations. When we got a week with the rear-wheel drive model, it occurred at a time when external conditions put the concept of EVs to the test. In January of 2024, there was a major cold snap across the United States, and it also became a test of EVs and how good their batteries really are under extreme conditions. In places like the Midwest, a weather front brought the combination of cold and strong winds together to create near polar-like temperatures. Other parts of the country also experienced colder than normal weather. For example, in Atlanta, the temperatures dropped down into the mid-teens in January. That was demonstrated in the EV6 when it was more than 80% charged. Now it is worth noting that currently the temperature is 48 degrees. I have a range of approximately 232 miles with 85% charge. Last night when the temperature was down in the 20s and I hadn't even gone this far, I had a charge of approximately 93%, but only a range of 214 miles. For the record, the test car has a power plant rated at 225 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. With a full charge, the range is supposed to be 310 miles. Lithium-powered batteries commonly found in phones or used in video cameras or in EVs all experience the same fate. Frigid conditions drain strength and life from these sources. In vehicles, it is much more noticeable with a diminished range. With the EV6, that problem was eliminated once the power plant had been operating for about 26 minutes. A solution is pre-treating these power sources for cameras and phone batteries. That's as simple as keeping them warm inside a building when not in use. For vehicles, it means pre-treating a battery by putting it on a slow charge when parked for long periods of time. This is similar to using heated dipsticks for the oil reservoir in gasoline or diesel-powered cars, a common practice in northern states during the winter. For EV owners, this should come as no surprise if they bother to read the instructions in the owner's manual about extreme weather and its effect on their batteries. I'm Greg Morrison.